Hi, I am Mark Feuer. I'm artistic director of the Sweetwater Music Festival. I heard a, a very famous violinist once say that without music we're just a bunch of barbarians. I'm not sure I would go that far, but certainly I would say that without the arts we've lost an opportunity for self-expression. And for a lot of people, certainly in my world, uh, music is the way in which we express ourselves and it doesn't matter what the form of that music can be, is or could be, it could be uh, what I spend most of my time doing which is classical or jazz or it could be rock, it could be hip-hop, it doesn't really matter what the form is. I mean it used to be when I was a kid there was a sensitivity to what form was about and if it was one form or the other there would be a good or a bad attached to that. Uh, I think that's all gone now and as uh, the new generation comes up, certainly students that I teach today, they have no time for that. That just makes no sense to their to, their, the, to themselves as people and I actually think that's a wonderful beautiful thing because now all these great worlds of expression are in a position where they can uh, come together and do something new and creative and move the art form forward. So why it's important? I think it's important because people actually need to have a vehicle for self-expression and music is one of the best ones out there. The programming, uh, programming of what we do, what we choose to produce on stage for our recitals and for our concerts, uh, we choose repertoire that will be ch both a challenge to the artist and also a challenge for artists who come together for the first time sometimes to uh, try something new. And so we're trying our best to present uh, established works with some new works and some well-known works in different fashions. Uh, for example, we a couple of years ago, which is now produced as a CD, uh, which we're very proud of. There was a, a version of the Mozart Clarinet Concerto that I had the chance to um, uh, kind of redesign with clarinetist James Campbell. And uh, with he and myself and a few other my friends, we, we did a full concerto, which ultimately would require a symphony. Uh, we did it with five or six people. And uh, the intimacy of that arrangement has kind of gained some notoriety over the last couple of years since we first produced it and uh, Jim has been bringing it around the world with him to, to play in other places. So that type of experience where we're taking repertoire and we're, we're reshaping it, we're reforming it a little bit, that's part of what we're doing and I think that's, that's part of bringing back the intimacy to the listener what some of these great works of art uh, have been but may, may have been lost through a distancing with a larger crowd or even you know, a certain type of space or environment that you would go to listen and enjoy music in. I think if we were to allow ourselves uh, the opportunity to disconnect a little bit more from kind of the, the, regular, uh, the regular onslaught of everything that hits us all in one day, there are a variety of ways that we can be enriched by the experiences around us. And I'm not thinking so much about therapy, although people might, might see music as therapy and it has a value as that for sure. But I am thinking that if you are able to declutter that space in your life and you then have a space inside of which you can choose to do A, B, or C. Choosing A, let's say A is music, and choosing yourself to be enriched by that experience of live music, because live music will always be different than when you record it and listen to a recording. If you choose that experience, I do believe that that is enrichment that has an immediate value of the actual listening inside the space you're in, but then it also has uh, a value over time. There's something that you take away from it that over time accumulates and gives you gives you something that you can't get through any other experience. 